Welcome back to another episode of Audio Fiends. Today we got Corday and Anderson Pack two tens featuring Anderson Pack. Make it specific. So it's Corday's song. It's got 2.4 million views, 99k likes. So I hopefully it's good. What were you just saying about Corday? Uh, I heard the I heard a snippet for the song and uh it's just like this thing's just boring, man. Like the way he was rapping is like he's just so much smarter than everybody, and like, he, he thinks that it makes it cool. And, and like I identify with that because I think I'm smarter than everybody, and I think that makes me cool. But when I see that somebody else, it's like shut the fuck up, nigga. Like, and, and you know he might be spitting real bars, saying some insightful shit. I doubt it. But if he does, then you know maybe I'll take back what I said. But it's just like it's boring ass shit. Get the fuck off my screen. So I don't know. I'm going into this with a hate mindset. Okay. But you know, I'm 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 expelling all the hate and energy right now, so I can, I can be fresh, I can be neutral for this reaction. It'll never happen. But I just have to let it be known. So even if I'm not fresh and I'm not neutral, then you know, okay, well this nigga's just a hater, right? How do you feel about his company, High Level? Um, how do you think about that? What do you feel about that logo? You should have brought bring the hate back. It's it's just pretentious. It's like, yeah, we do everything High Level over here. Shut the fuck up. How about that? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. So, I, uh, you know, it's whatever. Like, he's just, ah, oh, he's a fucking loser. He's a fucking loser? <laughs> let me stop. Let me stop. <laughs> let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. I guess it's like, you know, you don't mean it personally. It's like, for what you get from an online persona, you're just like, it's not, it's not occurring any favor with you. It's like, your online persona is just kind of lame. Here's a problem. He doesn't say this explicitly, but this is the feeling that I get, which is that I'm better than all you other niggas. And I feel like his fans also gravitate to him because they think he's better and I'm better than all these other niggas. Now, I don't mind if you actually think that. If you think I'm better than all these niggas, go ahead. Like Russ, back in the day when everyone was like, fuck Russ, that nigga was like, I'm better than you. I had no problem with that. Let it be known. But he's just like, you know, we're just doing things on a high level. And you know, shut the fuck up. <laughs> so what, everybody's so, doing it on the, on a low level compared to you? So, shut the fuck up. So you're saying that you, you prefer the way Russ went about it because he owned it. Yes. Yes. That's a big that's a big thing for me. Don't, don't you know, piss on me and tell me it's raining. No, no, no I'm just, <laughs> you know, this is just how I do things. Yeah, okay. is it? Fuck you, bro. Okay. Um... I'll start off with me. Like I just have, I think I have beef with Anderson Pack. Um, I think he's just uh, annoying. The way he sings, his energy. I just don't like him. I don't really like the way he sings. I don't like his energy. What he talks about, it's annoying. You don't like that so Sonic? I like Bruno Mars. I know he can actually sing. You weren't fucking with Anderson Pack. Not mm-hmm. really. I'm hearing you. Not really. I'm not gonna beef with you. I don't really feel the same way as you. I, I felt the same way about Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack in the Silk Sonic shit. They both. No, no. Bruno Mars just, is killing. I mean, to be fair, okay maybe we should react to it because I didn't listen to the album. I didn't listen to it either. I'm just saying from what I'd heard. Yeah, from like, what I, I heard, I thought Bruno Mars was killing him. Yeah, but Anderson Pack has he has like a certain he has a certain Je ne sais quoi, you know. So it's oh. like <laughs> he has a certain Je ne sais quoi. So it's just like oh. you know. It's, it's a certain type of style, you know. Uh, you just gotta be into it. Uh, or not. You, you say shit like that. Let's get into it. <laughs> Alright, uh, alright, here we go. So, me and my nigga Anderson decided to pull up to the club, you know? <clears throat> See, it's like, we start like that, and it's like, why do I just feel like this isn't him? What do you mean, like, being this cool? Yeah, like, <laughs> bro, he's not this cool! <laughs> Yeah, you got the 90s hip hop beat playing in the background. They, they outside of the spot. They're supposed to look yeah, like he's giving off the image like I'm, I'm cool. Like, bro, you don't have to. He's doing too much to show that he's cool. Isn't this thing married? Maybe I think he just has a baby on the way. I don't think they're married yet. Baby on the way with who? The tennis girl. He, she's pregnant. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. A little early. Bro, he's smart, for, bro. For somebody who's he's that smart. good at tennis, like, Put I mean... Put a baby in it, man. That's what... Yo, he's smart. He well, knows I'm what he's doing. I'm not talking about him. I'm talking about her. Her? Yeah. 
She's a good nigga. She's the same age as me. That's a good nigga. She's the same age as me. And that's when she should be having kids. She's in the middle of her tennis career, and she's like one of the best players in the world. Maybe she don't think it's going to hinder her. Maybe not. I don't know. I mean, not everybody can be Serena, but I'm just saying, like... I just, I, look, the best thing like, oh, it's a little early, but... This isn't a, a relationship podcast or a medical podcast, but, like, I think the best time to have kids is during that age. Like, I'm not saying like it's not. 24, 25. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying she's got other shit going on. So healthy, I was like... You know, healthy you know, baby, you know what I'm saying? I didn't expect that. <laughs> yeah, she does got other shit going on, right? But I only just said that to say, nigga talking about we hitting the club. It's like, come on, bro. You're a married man. Like, don't... I don't know. We're, we're gonna see. just going to pay for overpriced hey, drinks? Like, you know, you got to you gotta get in the, the slander and all that shit quick, but maybe it'll turn around. Some joints in the line. This is what I'm talking about. Why is he dancing like that? J. Cole would never do this. <laughs> I don't know if he wouldn't. <laughs> J. Cole wouldn't do this. I don't know if he would. I don't know if he would. <laughs> we gotta play it back. We gotta play it back. Actually, you know what? That whole walkthrough. Actually, you know what? I don't think he would. He wouldn't do that. Because I don't think J. Cole, I don't think J. Cole cares anymore. He doesn't care anymore. But don't you... Okay, yeah, maybe in the past, in his early days, he might do some shit like that. But it wouldn't even look like that. It would be it would be a little bit cooler than what, how he's doing it. Yeah. Let me ask you. You know, I think I think J. Cole was Corday in the past. Where it's like, you know, I'm I'm smart and you know, I, I, I think and operate at a higher level, but I'm still a cool guy. Like I think he was like that. But I think the difference is J. Cole actually kinda looked cool. Corday looks like a fucking loser. But but I'm asked what I'm asking you too. Is J. Cole cool? Yeah. That but it's be. still a little pretentious. It's not because he actually was kind of cool. <laughs> it's the, it's the, well, the pretentiousness comes from, yeah, I'm cool. You know, yeah, I'm fucking hoes, but like, I'm on a higher level. <laughs> oh! All right, man. Would you say Kendrick is cool? No. Thank you. But he don't try to be either. Yeah, well, that's that. I had an impulse to say yes because of that because he doesn't try to be cool so it's like that's what makes you cool that, trying too hard he's trying too hard walking in the spot relax bro. <laughs> what the fuck is that <laughs> relax bro and, and you know what's crazy that's the reason why i don't end this pack he always does shit like that he's always like that he does he, he does he, he, his his singing is like that but you know what maybe it's just not for me because there's always some theater nerd that acts like that. And that's what he gives to me. He's like some kind of theater nerd. He comes in the subsonic on front of the camera. His face, I'm just like. <laughs> Man, this nigga, this nigga really loved the, the limelight, bro. Like, holy shit. But like, is that his hair? He's niggas is bald. What do you mean niggas is bald? He's got hair coming from his head, you say he's bald. Bro, this nigga actor, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Is this? Is that like an escalator they were on? No, maybe. Alright, this song is really good though. <laughs> the song is pretty good though. <laughs> They they talk their <laughs> shit. They do the, they do their thing. I get to it. Oh, <laughs> what? here's a problem. Yeah, I can't admit that it's 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 kind of good. Yeah, because I feel like an asshole. Why? Because <laughs> all the hating I was doing. No, I mean I think the hating was in the place it needed to be, but the music is hitting where it needs to be. When you put the visual to it, you're really throwing it off the visual. But if I just heard it, I'm, I'm not. Nah, I feel like the visual is kind of cracking. I thought Anderson Pack was I thought I thought the way he was acting on camera 
It, it felt, fit. it felt, yeah, it fit with with the song. Not too much Corday, but uh, Anderson Pack. But that's what I'm saying. I think Anderson Pack can actually act right because he's almost like a theater nerd. But like, I just don't. I'm not a fan of that shit. That's why I I, I came out and said like, I don't like that nigga. Like, you can appreciate the fact that he's actually good at the way he acts and all that shit. But it's like, eh, to me, it's a little over the top. Okay. You know, some niggas, some niggas act like what's that nigga that played Christian Bale. Some niggas act like him. Some niggas are more animated. Christian Bale. Yeah, he played Batman. His Batman was very oh, I laid you back. About um, American Psycho. Isn't that that's not his name. Is that Christian Bale too? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean, maybe those are just, maybe I don't know. I never watched American Psycho. Be fair. You seen clips? I've seen the clips. Yeah, but I can't. No context. But yeah, man. I mean, I think like you know, Christian Bale is more of a laid back actor, right? I don't know if you would agree. No. No? What do you mean, lay back? He's not over performative. Niggas think he's nice. Yeah, but you can be nice, but have a different style. Like, someone like Leo, he'd be really getting into roles. It's kind of crazy. I don't don't think Leo's like a method actor. I think that's what I'm trying to say. The method actor. Well, Daniel Day-Lewis? I don't know who that is. I think he's a method actor. I don't know my actors like that. I'm not fanned out, but I think they'll understand what I'm trying to say. You got the method actors, and you got the niggas that's just more natural, more flea flowing. I'm saying Anderson Pack is he's like a method actor. Bro, he's wearing a he's wearing fake hair, he's bald. Stop, bro. <laughs> Stop, bro. You you said Tory would you say Tory Lanez has fake hair? Yeah. Oh, okay. Fuck. Nigga that shit painted on. Yeah. That nigga ever come home? This isn't about him. All right, let's get back to it. Bro, you see, bro. <laughs> you do that. You do that. <laughs> bro, he's like, he's like the old Eminem, bro. Like you're saying that he was doing the, the Denzel when he got when he got killed in Training Day. What's that? <laughs> when he got lit up by everybody. Oh yeah, he was. Oh, yeah, like that's that's not how niggas die. Like when they get lit up, they just drop. Bro, he <laughs> just shoots their body on the ground. All, all I'm saying is that he's very animated with his acting, and I hate it. You see, you see, you see, you see. What? That's bad budgeting. You don't like that one? I spent 10, ba- 10 bands on a bitch. That's bad budgeting. Shut the fuck up! <sighs> Mad niggas together are smothering. You see, Blueface, when he says there's too many niggas in here, I'm itching. That's fire. <laughs> All these niggas together, I'm smothering. Oh. Oh, shit. That is like... The same bar, but said different ways. The sun is like, oh, we get it. You're so cool. Yeah, I don't, I don't like to roll around with too many niggas. We get it. Blueface, I don't like to roll around with too many niggas. Ha ha ha. I like that. So pretentious, man. man that didn't spell it out for you. I don't know what to say, guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's too many niggas in here. I'm itching. <laughs> <laughs> too many niggas in here. It's smothering. Damn, that was fire. What was that? Damn, she bad. That's a queen. It might be on a little escalator thing with the airport shit. Oh, you saw that product placement? Yeah, Samsung? No, Google Pixel. Bro, Anderson Pack is really, really talented, man. Cause the this the song is 
being held together by his voice. Yeah, and, yeah. If it was if it was just Corday, it would be very labor labor intensive. It'd be a lot. It'd be hard work listening to this. It'd be laborious. Yeah. It'd be hard work. Um this nigga um what's his name? Uh this nigga Corday is literally J. Cole at home. And it it is it is exhausting to get through. I ain't gonna hold you. Here's what I'll say. Towards the end of the song, like the last like thirty seconds, I start to feel bad because they had this thing going on where it was like two different perspectives on like I don't know talking to or meeting women or something like that. But I wasn't really paying attention because I was hating so hard, so hard. I was hating so hard, and I was just like, you know, I, I didn't. You see, this is the difference between this reaction and the Suicide Boys one. In the Suicide Boys one, I was actually giving it a chance. I actually didn't even give this a chance. Like, I don't even know what they were talking about. I don't really understand what the point of the song was because I was hating so hard. And so I feel a little bit bad. I'm not going to go back and, like, we're not going to re-react to it. But it's just like, you know, I probably should have given this a better chance than I should than I did. But that's the thing, bro. Like, I already knew I don't give a fuck what they're talking about. I, you can say that. I, I just feel like I still should have listened. If I, if I was going to at least... If I was gonna upload a video on it, I should have at least pretended to listen. Well, not pretend. I should have actually listened, bro. But this is the thing: if the song doesn't sound good, why would anyone? The song does sound good. Not Corday. <laughs> it sounds good enough. So that... we're picking up parts of. I I'm picking up what what the uh, Anderson Pack is saying. It sounds good. Like he's got a good voice for making music. Anytime Corday speaks, it's just like this thing is saying all this nonsense, like lyrical miracle, spiritual miracle. Just like, bro, what the fuck is this nigga talking about, bro? But I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe we're looking at it differently. Like I'm listening to what they're saying, but it doesn't, it don't mean nothing to me. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> maybe I'm not too sure. <laughs> they don't mean a bro. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Uh, This is a very well made beat. Me and my dog AP had us a good ass time, man. It's always a fly night with my boy AP. Especially when we got two pins. You died? (laughs) You died at the end of that? You have to start talking. Shut the fuck up. So there you have it. Me and my boy AP, you know what I mean? We were getting lit that night, especially when we got two tens. I think we slandered this this nigga crazy. And you know what's crazy? I actually like Corday. I wish him success. Um, I've always wanted him to do well. I've watched him on podcasts and shit like that. But... This is the problem, right? I might like him, but in reality, I think it's really kind of boring. It just kind of sucks. Like, I want him to be successful. I want him to do good numbers because I like his origin story. I like where he came from. He was doing the YBN shit, branched off, started doing his own thing. Young, successful black man. Got a got a tennis star uh, on his arm. I like black excellence. I like what he's doing. But I just got to call a spade a spade. The nigga is just corny. Well, like, I can't, I can't, Stop myself from keeping it a bean. That nigga is just corny, man. I don't like. Would I be friends with him? I don't know. Maybe. I. I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Like, I don't think he'll ever see this. But if he did see this, I don't want to. Th- I don't hate you. I don't like. But like, I calling it what I see it, bro. And you can say whatever you want about me too. But like, I don't know, bro. Like this shit just does not hit. Anderson Pack is nice though. No, I don't like him either. I give it a credit. Is Corday good at music? <laughs> All right, this is what. I'll... All right, well, let me start easier. Is Anderson Pack good at music? Yes. <laughs> is Corday good at music? Here's what I'll say. Good. I don't listen to a lot of Corday music. 
So it's difficult for me to judge. One time my boy was like, you got to listen to the Corday album. Turned it on. Don't remember anything from it. So my impulse is to say this. There are niggas that are good at music. And then there are niggas that are good at rapping. Corday is barely even good at rapping. Damn. He's like, out of 10, this is what I'm saying, right? Nigga like Kendrick, I'm giving him nine. Cause I don't even like saying that nigga's a 10, like a like perfect is crazy. So I'm gonna give a nigga like Kendrick a nine. I'm gonna give a nigga like J. Cole a 7.5. I'm gonna give a nigga Drake like a seven a eight. Sorry, Cole. Sorry, Cole fans. <laughs> this is a fact. This is a fact. Yeah, I would give. I would. I would think. I think I would give J Cole I think, and I think, I think, I think I, and J Cole get the same eight. Yeah, I they can both get eight. eight. They can both get eight. A nigga like Corday, he gets like a six. He does get like a six. He gets like a six. Like he's like, yeah, he's pretty good, but he's not like what he makes himself like. So, like a a a, a Travis Scott. I was gets like a five. I but give like him a six too. No, no, I'm not giving him a six. No. He got like no bars. Not none, but like none. But he's good at there's other things to rapping besides bars. There's yeah, flow. I understand that, but he doesn't have that. He doesn't have flow. No, no, bars. I, I think his bars are passable enough. Does Corday even have bars like that? I'm assuming he does. <laughs> if he doesn't have that, what's he got? <laughs> if he doesn't have that, what's he got? <laughs> what the fuck, bro? This video's getting too long, bro. <laughs> yeah, okay, we're taking it out. Okay, listen. <laughs> And he's not good at making music. Like Kanye is like he's the he's the greatest hip hop artist, artist, not rapper, he's the greatest hip hop artist of all time. That nigga's a ten. Corday, like maybe a five, I don't know. It could be lower. It's average. <laughs> um so look, song's alright. Song's alright. Song's alright. Song's alright. Look, man, and I only want to do that because it's like niggas gonna think, oh, they're just slandering, haters, who the fuck are you? All that nonsense. Bro, I think I'm giving an objective look on where Corday is and where his career is gonna go. That nigga need to do some kind of a pivot, bro, because keep trying to do this cool guy, I can rap shit, is J. Cole Light. And why would we go to J. Cole Light when we have J. Cole? I just we don't see it. We got J. Cole. We got J. Cole. We have him. <sighs> and we don't even need J. Like, J. Cole's not something to do. You don't eat J. Cole every day. Pause. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> That's a once in a while Pause. type thing. So I don't need the, the light version to hold me over. Why would I, I ever need this? When I get this? <laughs> Bro, I can go back to Born Center. I got shit that's better than on Born. Not even a question. Born, I got shit on Born Center that's better than this. Like, come on. I just don't need it, bro. I just don't need it. And and, and that's the problem. And, that's, and I think that also ties in with the fact that, like, niggas think, like, he's doing, like, a J. Cole light impression. Cool rapper. I got bars. I got lyrics. Well, it's like, bro, if you don't set yourself apart, you're just going to be looked at as J. Cole Light. Like, you, there's no reason to go to Corday. What do you, what do people, like, yo, that's what I want in the comments. Why should I go listen to Corday with all these other types of rappers that are in this spirit? You got Nas, you got J. Cole. I don't know who else. Who? J. Cole. But, you know, I'm saying as a, we got we to gotta do a, a Corday. Listening session one day. We'll do it. We'll do, we'll do Corday's most popular <laughs> yeah, songs. We'll do it. Cause I was sitting here going, J. Cole's better. I was like, bro, but I haven't listened to his albums. Maybe I'll just hate it. But like, I, I think I've given him a good enough chance where it's like, bro, I shouldn't want to feel like I got to cut the album off midway. But that's what happens. I'm sorry. <laughs> but you know what? We're going to do an underrated, overrated for Corday. And we're going to go through his most popular songs and see what, he, we'll see what he's talking about. Um, that's it for this one. <laughs> All the Corday fans, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Take it easy, man. It'll all be okay. You can listen to Corday. Don't play with my car. But you can listen to him, bro. In your headphones by yourself. You'll be okay. Wait, real quick. What's the uh rating? This? Yeah. This nigga, Corday, so pretentious. Give it a five. It's average. If he was more on the energy that Innocent Pack was on... I think really be trying to showcase. I got bars. Look at it. Listen. Oh, I'm trying to hear that shit. Man. Honestly, after everything that I said, I give it a 6.5. And it's based on the idea if this came on in the car, nigga just started playing this. I look at my nigga like, you be listening on Corday? But I wouldn't, like, I would, I would, be, I would be moving to the song, but decent. I wouldn't have a bad time. That's listening average. To That's five. Well, no, 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 no. Because if you're never going to go for it yourself, if you're not happy when it comes on, 
How can it get to a six? I would, what I'm saying is that, like, if it was on, I would be enjoying myself. Bro. If an eight is, yo, play that shit. Mm-hmm. Or if a nigga says, I'm about to play this. Let's go, play it. Mm-hmm. If a six is, it comes on like, ooh. If a five is just, there's just music playing. It's an average song. That's what I'm saying. Like, if it, if it came on, you're not, it would, I, would, I wouldn't just be like, oh, there's just music playing. I'd be like, this is... Wait, that's because of the beat. That's the song. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yo, remember, yo, tell me why we should listen to Cordae in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out. Peace.